yeah. Anyway, so Florida introduced some newly designed currency into the market last year. You know, they wanted to create money that all Canadians could be very proud of. Charming. So they did, no, no, they did something very interesting. They made the $100 bill smell like maple syrup. Ooh. They did. They then made the $50 bill smell like pine trees. And then, you know, to make the good people of Quebec feel included, they made the $20 bill smell like Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> they made, of course, the $10 bill smell like bacon, and the $5 bill smell like beer, and the $2 bill smell like beaver. <laughs> yeah, they had to take that one out of circulation because it didn't go down very well. <laughs> but, you know, you know, money, money is a funny thing. You know, I think everybody has a particular money personality. You know, you, you may not know what your money personality is until you're in a certain situation. So, for instance, you know, I was in Las Vegas with my husband, and we went to a casino. And I thought, yeah, I'm totally the type of person that could get into gambling. You know, the thrill of the roll of the dice, the anticipation of the roulette wheel, the poker face. Yeah, no, I was totally wrong. We're in this casino, and my husband puts a token into the slut. <laughs> The slut, slut with an O, slut machine, you have a totally dirty mind. Anyways, the husband puts a token into the slot, and he wins the jackpot. The tokens start coming out, and the slot just keeps coming and coming and coming. And you know, you know, when you win like that, you do this winner's dance. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll use this one. <laughs> but anyways, I'm doing the wind stand. <laughs> but then suddenly I get all serious. I don't want to lose all this money that I had just won. So I grab up all the tokens, I put them in two buckets, and I start running as fast as I can. And my husband's chasing behind me, and he's chasing, he's getting faster, and everything suddenly feels like it's in slow motion. Wait, I want to gamble some more! <laughs> But I get to the hotel room, I close the door, and I put the chain on the lock. He's on the other side, banging away. I am in on the door. The competing forces are tremendous. He's pushing with all his might with his need to spend. I'm pushing with all my might with my need to save money. So he jerks the door, I lose my balance, and all the tokens start spilling through the slot in the door. And they just keep coming and coming and coming. Anyways, I looked through the crack in the door and I could see my husband on the other side. <laughs> and I'm on the other side. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's then that I realize that we've come too far to give up who we are. He's staying up all night to spend some. I was staying up all night to save some. He's staying up all night to get lucky. He's staying up all night to get lucky. He's staying up all night to get lucky. He loses even one of those tokens, he ain't getting lucky with me tonight. <laughs> Cereal 
bucks. That is like a free starter with your meal. That is like a poopy sandwich. <laughs> but, you know, if you think about it, it could be kind of convenient. Double cleavage gives you two places to put your stuff. <laughs> you know, you put your money in there, you got your tissue put in there, you get your mail, you got to get to the post office later on, and you got pictures of my kids, I got my glasses in there, I got my wallet, I got my gun, I got my tweezers going there, I got some gum, I got a snack for later. <laughs>